have our mukbang video. We thought that it would be really fun for us to try Sonic foods for the first time and answer some Q&A questions. And so let's get started. Okay, first we um, got the, I think the bacon cheeseburger. And then we have popcorn chicken. Looks super good. I heard this is really popular. And then, like salivating while I'm like <laughs> describing this box. It smells really good. Uh, we got the chicken tinder box. I think it comes with bread, I guess. <laughs> Just chicken, like bread. chicken tenders. One onion ring. One onion ring. Wait, there's only one? There's only one. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to cut that in half. And um, some. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we have also a strawberry lime sushi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How is it? Mm, try it first. I think it's pretty bomb. It tastes fake. <laughs> Fast food. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what were you expecting? <laughs> fresh fresh squeezed strawberries. Oh! Also, for condiments, we got the classic egg <laughs> and um, signature sauce. Oh. Um, what else? We, oh, ranch? Ranch dressing, marinara sauce. Cool. Shall we dig in? Yeah. All right. Yeah, but I feel like that smoothie, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's just really sweet. I'm picking it. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm not used to eating foods like this. Yeah. Like, I really don't go out and eat fast foods that much. I'm missing out, man. <laughs> me and McDonald's. <laughs> when we got the food, I was just like, when she handed me the bag, I thought she gave us a wrong order, because I was like, That's it. <laughs> this bag is so little. <laughs> she grabbed the bag and looked at it and was like, wait, is that it? <laughs> Whenever I go to McDonald's, the bag is always bigger. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's because your girl can eat. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm, that's all like it. It's really tender. Mm hmm. But it's crispy. I think I'm also just like really hungry. That's no. true. I don't know how I feel about dipping chicken in marinara sauce though. Can I put ketchup on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I like ketchup more. Um,. This burger is hella cold. <laughs> I think we waited too long. <laughs> also, I might need to stop by McDonald's later. <laughs> Get the bigger bag. Yeah. Okay, first bite. <laughs> Not I mean, it's a burger. <laughs> is it? Taste any different from like, McDonald's or? Tastes more real. Really? But I prefer McDonald's. Mm. Right? I like the bacon. The carcass of the bread. Did yeah, they just throw in slices of bread? I don't know. Fine, I'm just gonna toast. Yeah, dip it in marinara sauce. Yeah. <laughs> All dry. Pretty dry actually. Do you still have the avocado? <laughs> oh, <laughs> avocado toast. <laughs> $3 each, so that's crazy. <laughs> the okay. bread by itself is pretty good too. I'm gonna try it. Mm, I mean, it's toast. I don't have high expectations for toast. Hmm. Kane's is so much better. I don't know. But they if specialize in fried chicken. Chicken tenders. If any of you guys have a Cane's or Raising Cane's near you, do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't know why, but I don't know what you're talking about. Because <laughs> they're not the Cane's in California. <laughs> the signature sauce is like, all right. This is only a uh, Mm-hmm. It's like a honey mustard. Mm -hmm. Try with it. I dig it. Ranch stuff. The tater tots are good. While we are eating food, we're gonna answer some questions. It doesn't taste fake to you? 
now it tastes like strawberry meal. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first question. How long have we known each other? And how did we first meet? We've only known each other for what? Since December. Yeah, like eight January. months? Seven January, months? February, March, April, May, June, July. Seven months. Seven months! Seven months anniversary! Yay! <laughs> yeah. By the way, we do these stupid little weird wiggles. And the one, <laughs> you know, we're super weird. It's seven months in development. Yes, <laughs> comes to this point. <laughs> um, but yeah, we met back in December when I went. Um, I'm from Colorado first. She is from San Francisco. Mm -hmm. It was really interesting because she connected with my boyfriend through Instagram. Yeah, and they started talking more after he visited Colorado. And then my boyfriend and I back in California wanted to do a holiday trip, but we wanted to bring other friends along. And so at that time it was Hana and another friend, but then that other friend ended up dropping out. And so it just ended up being the three of us. And so Hana came over, she flew over, um, my boyfriend picked her up and then that's kind of how we all ended up hanging out and getting to know each other. Yeah. Um, we went to, well, we like, they showed me around San Francisco. I've been to San Francisco a few times already, but you know, just like doing sightseeing, shooting, all that. And then we also drove down with some of their friends um, from San Francisco to LA. Mm -hmm. We went to Disneyland together, California Adventures, and we did Los Angeles for like two days. Mm -hmm. And then we went on a cruise together. Just the three of us. Yeah, just the three of us. <laughs> Third wheeler for life! <laughs> um, Yo. It was yeah. literally the like, most interesting trip ever. Mm -hmm. It was like me and my boyfriend and then Hana. <laughs> um, what, what am I trying to dip this in? I don't know. It's like juice <laughs> Um, but yeah, our cruise was um, started in Long Beach and then we went to Cabo, Puerto um, Vallarta, and then Mazalan. Mm -hmm. It was like pretty fun. It was super fun. Like we got to do different excursions. Um, like when we were off the ship, we got to do, um, like we got to ride ATVs, we did zip lining, we did snorkeling, a snorkeling and boat tour. That was really fun. Mm -hmm. I really like that. It was just like an open bar on the cruise ship. Your girl got stung by a jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. But it was fun, like the water was warm and we were there in December. Mm -hmm. um, and so everyone was super nice, it was really fun. We got to explore and do excursions. And then when we were back on the cruise ship, we ate a ton. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Buffet on a different level. <laughs> Like literally free for all food. You can order all you want on the menu and we basically ordered everything yeah. off the menu. Every single dinner, we had like seven entrees. <laughs> <laughs> My boyfriend would be like, I want this. And actually, can I just have everything on the menu and just order like five things off of oh the dinner menu alongside appetizers and drinks mm -hmm. and other desserts. We tried every dessert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it was cool because there's a lot of food waste, but then they feed it back to the fish or they recycle it and compost it, quote unquote. Pure <laughs> Judy over here. <laughs> Good Judy. <laughs> well, leaves what they say. <laughs> but come on. Yeah. Yeah, that cruise ship was really interesting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, none of us at that point really knew each other. Yeah, and we none of us went on the cruise before, right? Um, At least I, I did. Okay. Yeah. But with family. No okay. Friends. Okay. Yeah. So we just wanted to see what it was like um, to we go thought, on a cruise. Yeah. We with thought us. that it would be a fun excursion. Like we thought cruise in a tropical area. It'll be warm it and wasn't under the that sun. Warm. It was not warm at all. It was so cold. The wind was blowing. We would hop in the water and my body was shaking. Like, yeah. It was so freaking cold. Cabo was pretty cold. Yeah. Yeah, I mean like for me, I'm used to traveling where every single day is like packed. And so, the cruise was just literally like, they had things to do, but it was like... Boring. Yeah, yeah. It was basically like trivia, like old people activities. 
Oh yeah, we spent New Year's on a cruise ship too. It was mm -hmm. pretty tame. It was just on the top deck and then they just count down uh, to New Year's and then they just play like It's really music. weird to get trashed with like a bunch of people that's like our parents' age. Yeah. And older. We got a lot of free champagne. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Um, but yeah, I don't think I would do another cruise ship anytime soon. My boyfriend and I both agree, like, if we do, we would do it with a bigger group of people. Yeah, I need, like, party people to come up with me. Yeah, yeah. Um, the cruise was, was like a catalyst for our friendship. But yeah. it didn't define mm -hmm. our friendship. I think that there are other things and different factors like social media. Yeah. And just our, like, intentionality and our characters, our personalities that help grow mm -hmm. the friendship that we have now. Yeah. Yeah. Are um, we eating? I don't know what I'm eating. <laughs> People are gonna be like, well, yo, this girl is so fast. <laughs> I can't eat a lot of fast food. <laughs> I need veggies. <laughs> when we bought this food, I asked her, do we oh, have, like... Oh, we're so excited like, in the fridge. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna go grab a bag of spinach. When we're Hot. ordering food, when we're ordering food, I like told her I can't eat that much fast food. Do you have like vegetables, anything green at home? I was home? like, uh. <laughs> she was like, I have a bag of spinach, so I'm gonna go grab that. A bag. <laughs> the little. <one. laughs> it's fine. You get what you get, and you don't get upset. Okay, I guess I'm the one that's eating all those. Hmm, I'll eat it from time to time. From time to time. Mm. I I don't know, my stomach is pretty sensitive. Mm. So if I eat like too much oil and stuff, it's pretty bad. I just deal with the consequences later. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna rip this cap. Oh my god, you're dropping lettuce everywhere, dude. <laughs> Alright, next question. Oh yeah, before we go on, so she is visiting me in Colorado for four or five days? Five days. She came, she got here this morning, mm -hmm. um, but she had already been here last month. Was it yeah. last month or not month before? Yeah, last month. This is my second time visiting Colorado. Um, we try to see each other at least once a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which Since is nice. That pattern. <laughs> yeah, like um, just a couple of weeks ago, we were in Vegas together celebrating her birthday. And then like two or three weeks before that, I came and visited Colorado to see her for the first time. Yeah. And hang out with her. Because mm -hmm. she's never been to Denver before. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and during that first trip, we explored the city a little bit more. We went up to Boulder. Uh, went out a lot. Um, so this time around, we're actually gonna go camping tomorrow. Do a little bit more wholesome bonding instead of <laughs> <Wholesome> drinking. <laughs> you know, last time we went out to the mountains and got caught in a hailstorm. Oh yeah. So if you don't know, Colorado has crazy weather. It's so eccentric. And like even today, it was bright sunshine, and then a moment later, it starts pouring rain, it's like, and it's thunderstorming. so dark. <laughs> yeah, it got super dark, and it starts thunderstorming it. Like, I was like, what is this Colorado weather? I was just like, yeah, just day-to-day -day <laughs> basis. She wasn't even fake. Yeah, I was just like, oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty weird, um, but if you live in Colorado, you know, it just happens all the time. How has social media impacted our lives? Like I was off social media for six months. When we first met, I did not have yeah. social media at all. And that's why like first impressions wise, um, when people ask like, oh, like what were your first impressions of each other? I didn't really have one just because I, I guess my first impression was, I don't know who this is and mm -hmm. I don't know who my boyfriend is like talking to mm -hmm. and who is going on a cruise adventure with us. Um, I was really excited that we were able to like get a friend to come with us. <laughs> my boyfriend and I have this running joke that it's just us two like lonely musketeers going on all these adventures together. So it's nice to like finally have a friend come with. Um, but just, I guess one of our major differences is that like for a really long time, I really did not care that much about social media. Like I was completely off it. And when we met, you were like on your high peak of like wanting to explore social media more and use it as an avenue for modeling and portrait photography and really trying to use social media and get into that community, mm -hmm. which was awesome because my boyfriend is a part of that. Yeah. And my boyfriend does really great like portrait shots and that's kind of how they connected on Instagram first and how they met. Mm -hmm. um, and so, Adding me into the mix, like, um, I did not 
really use social media at all and so when we met it was just it was cool to be able to connect with someone from a community that I knew very little about and then I had an opportunity to like engage in conversation about it mm -hmm. yeah um yeah and then shortly after that I burnt out <laughs> yeah I feel like social media I think just for the development of our friendship, it helped because it allowed us to connect. Like, I think if I were still off social media, we would definitely not be as close as we yeah. are now, you know? Just because, like, so many things we share on a daily basis or, or, like, or jokes are, like, from social media now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't think that I would have, like, gotten connected because, like, I got my Instagram back mm -hmm. shortly after the cruise trip and then I followed you and then you were, like, so excited to follow yeah, me Yeah, like, back. oh my god, she got, she got her Instagram and she's back! And then I feel like I carried on that excitement because it was, like, so kind. And then, like, it just really helped develop our friendship and so we started talking more on Instagram and then we just started texting more and then we planned for me to come and visit mm -hmm. for the first time. And then throughout that that time you started facetiming more mm -hmm. uh we facetimed really like pretty frequently yeah which is nice. like a couple times a week yeah yeah it's funny like we'll just randomly call up each other and be like i just wanted to say hi yeah just, like the both of us mm -hmm. um and so i definitely feel like social media has helped to develop our friendship um and it's had a positive impact on our lives yeah um which was it was like surprising because after the cruise, I think around like March-ish, I did really burn out from social media. Um, as like, as great as it is that people share positivity, I feel like there's a lot of um, anxiety that comes from from it. You know, with all the likes, um, whenever you, whenever I like, um, people in my, you know, it's the same community, when you spend a lot of time on a photo or edit, um, you post it and it doesn't do well, like, the algorithm is really confusing. All of that can just like bring your self-esteem down, whether that's like about yourself physically or your work, any of that in general. Um, so I quickly burnt out, um, especially when I uh, had a couple incidents where the people I worked with, um, I guess like didn't meet, just like weren't very considerate. Um, but I'm just slowly kind of picking it back up now and when I, I'm more selective about my shoots, um, I definitely shoot more just mainly like paid work and more like picky about my clients and um, I filter through a lot of collabs. I definitely don't take on as many shoots anymore and just try not to burn myself out and just really do the shoots where I feel very inspired by. Mm -hmm. um, if anything, like I posted a while ago talking about how instead of shooting to just to make content just to shoot, I want to be able to shoot where um, I'm capturing or I can go back and remember an experience from the photos. Mm -hmm. If I am shooting for fun and shooting collab and not just like a portrait or like an engagement session for um, a client. Yeah. And like wanting to feel inspired by mm -hmm. a shoot rather than just doing it because you have to or you think that it would like generate a response or a reaction from people. Right. Um, I noticed that, like that like even my iPhone pics that I was like posting for a while when I was burn burnt out from photography. I was just posting selfies or iPhone photos that pic people like took of me and my friends or whatnot and those photos are doing just as well if not better than the ones I spent eight hours on <laughs> mm -hmm. so it, it's just like that experience just made me realize um, because social media isn't my main source of income I'm just doing it for my own sake like and I don't have to stress out so much about making content if you watch Remy Ashton content baby content <laughs> are you eating any of the food? I am, I eat a potato <laughs> Yourself. <laughs> yeah, I feel like social media is really difficult to navigate and I think that's a big part as to why I was off social media for six months. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like I was getting lost in it and I think as social media is like trying to transition away from like getting likes, um, which I also think is really difficult. I think social media thrives off, off of getting those likes and I think everyone likes likes, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think 
just me personally, I was getting lost in the idea of social media and I too was like, I started getting down that rabbit hole of like, oh, I want to post something to get reactions from people rather than posting just because I generally like the photo or um, I thought that it was something really fun or inspiring that really motivated me in some way and I thought that someone else could benefit from it too. Um, and so I think that I was off it because I was actually getting really sad from social media. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of people can resonate with that feeling because sometimes you spend so much time just scrolling and scrolling yeah, mindlessly. and scrolling and getting caught in that comparison and like everything on social media is a lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so processed. Yeah. Um I see you people using face too. <laughs> I can tell. I mean like I definitely use it too but I think that I was getting really caught up in it and comparing myself to a different reality. People that... expect what they see on social media is real life. It's really not. Yeah. And so I think I was getting caught up in wanting to put up a presentation or a front on my social media. And so I was getting so lost in it and getting really sad. And once I got off social media, I was actually spending my time in more productive ways. Like instead of scrolling for an hour, I read more books. Like mm -hmm. I think I read about like one or two books every month, which wow. was huge for me. Like yeah. remember when you came in December, I like finished another book. Oh yeah. Yeah. TBT too when social media wasn't a thing. <laughs> when people actually read books. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like I'm back on it now, but I think my perspective has changed in terms of like, Oh, I'm posting it because I just generally like the photo and I thought that it was cute Yeah, and I wanted to share it with other people and I already have confidence in the photo rather than posting it for um, Rather than posting it to gain confidence from other people. Right. And I think that's like the biggest difference. Yeah mm -hmm. I definitely agree <laughs> uh, Well, anyways, thank you all for watching <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> we really hope that you enjoyed it and got to learn a little bit more about us. Uh, we joke about being potatoes, but we were actually truly potatoes. And we're eating, eating ourselves! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think it's just really nice like having a friend who is long distance but feeling so close to someone. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate like how social media has played a big role in that. Mm -hmm. um, we are Follow us on social media! <laughs> <laughs> Link down below! <laughs> ding ding! <laughs> um, we are hoping to post some more videos um, either separately and together. And so if you have any ideas for us, let us know! Yeah. Because we would love to engage you all in some more interesting content. But yeah, thank you all for joining us on our eating adventure or not eating adventure. <laughs> yeah, I'm eating. I'm the fat one here. We didn't even finish like any of our food. We just, I the other thing we finished was a thing of spinach. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you for joining us. It was really fun. I hope that you learned something from this conversation. Yeah, <laughs> school <customer>. and please, <laughs> and please um, give us any feedback or. Um, if you have your own input on the topics, um, please leave them down below. We would love to read them and engage with you guys. And let us know how you feel about the fact that Instagram might be taking away likes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let us know. Until next time! Bye! <laughs>